Hello friends, this video is about creating a default visual and convert that into a custom visual with the help of simple DAGs and parameters. So first I will give you the problem statement. I will make you understand what is the problem statement and then we will explain how to create this report. My request is to watch this video till the end and after watching please do like and press the like button. And then if you have not yet subscribed please do subscribe and share with many of your friends and colleagues. Now let me jump into the problem statement. So I have a uh, chart which is uh, a bar chart. Why bar chart? Bar chart can handle labels in a better way. That is the reason I selected the bar chart and uh, in that I have 12 months data January to December for 2018 because I have selected that year. But my customer wants to see only the latest few months. For example, he wants to see from September till December or maybe August till December, oldest to latest, only few. So I need to control that. So with a regular visual, it is not possible. Obviously, you need to have a DAX and also you need to have a parameter. I've already created that. If you look at, there is a slicer. In that slicer, I have the value currently 12. So that is uh, enabling me to see only 12 months. So let me change this to 8. And automatically, my chart will show the number of months, 8 months, and then accordingly, uh, the respective values from May to December, latest. And also, I have created a card which is showing the value of total 8 months value and percentage of those, those 8 months value against my total revenue and total revenue. So, this is what we are going to create in this uh, video. So, please do watch till the end. Now let me jump into Power BI desktop to show you how to create this visual. I've taken sales data and created few basic measures like total sales and last year sales. Now total sales is where I can show my 12 months of latest uh, selection. Last year will be previous year data. Currently I'm working on the total sales where I'm going to show you that uh, latest end month value. Same thing you can do with last year sales also if you want. The controlling point is parameter here. I need to have 1 to 10 numbers as a column and I need to have a measure for it. That will be my slicer and that slicer is controlling my visual. For that, I need to create a parameter, modeling tab, new parameter and numeric range. Parameter name is n and then minimum is 1 and maximum is 12 because I'm dealing with 12 months. Increment is 1. The moment I click on create, one slicer will be created, which is a single value slicer. Typically, this is uh, coming out of that option called parameter, but I want a different style for it. I want all 12 numbers in one place, like a tile. So to change the style, I'm going to the properties, go to slicer settings and select the style and select a tile. And if you drag it, you can see all 12 numbers are appearing here. Now, if I create a regular chart, for example, if I just add bar chart and in the Y axis, I want to use month and year together and then total sales in the X axis, it's a regular chart. This is not going to help me. So I'll just remove total sales. So I need to have a modified uh, value, which is coming out of a logical expression. For that, need to create a measure. Measure name is latest in months sales. It's a logical expression. If selected value month and month number alone. Here I need to compare this number with another number. So I need to have number only, but not a problem. Month number directly represents month year column also in the date table. Greater than means whatever month I'm selecting in the chart should be greater than 12 minus the value what is getting generated from this parameter is n value. And then only the value should appear. So what is this n value? If you look at my table, that n table, two fields are created one is a calculated column second is a measure so this measure is actually controlling so whatever value you select in the slicer will be the n value for example if i select 2 the n value will be 2 that means 12 minus 2 and greater than 10 that means i should have only 11 and 12 months data so let me do one thing i'm not uh, selecting any value in the slicer to show you a blank screen first so let me add latest 10 months value currently this chart is not showing anything 
But the moment I select a value in the slicer, then only I will be able to see that I'm selecting two. So what is the meaning of that? I need to see only December and November, right? Let me select two. Now you can see only November and December. And what is this formula is talking about the same? Whatever value, uh, months I'm selecting should be greater than 12, the total numbers minus the n value is two, 10. So greater than 10 is nothing but 11 and 12. And if I select five, you will see five, uh, basically five latest months. So December to August or August to December, whatever it is. But we are not at done. Please stay back. Reason, if I add a card visual, then the problem comes. This measure is not generating any grand total. It is just working on a row level. For example, if I just add into the card, it throws a blank value. So sometimes my customer wants that he wants to see the total value of these all five months. How to deal with that? Then I need to extend the logic little more. If he is filtered month year, suppose if I am filtering the data in a table by month and year, okay, this formula is fine. Otherwise, I need to modify the value to next level that is calculate the total sales where filter the table, dates table and all selected. The reason is we have a specific selection in the year slicer. We are selecting only one year. So all selected will respect the external slicers and dates table. Then date state, its month number is greater than 12 minus the same logic n value along with that its month number less than equal maximum of dates month number. That means between the values you are picking up, okay, this will give me that value. Let us just uh, understand it more clearly. First, let me select the chart and make it uh, data labels. Go to properties and add the data label and increase the value of the data label uh, font size. Now you can read the numbers. Let me select one. That means only one month, 5.3, 5.3. Two months, 5 plus 5, 10.3. So that means it is giving me the aggregated value here. Now I want a percentage also to the total revenue. Simple. Another measure. Latest percentage. Divide latest n months, comma total sales. This will give me a percentage. And if I add a card visual and inside the card, if I add this value, it is 17.87%. So that is how you can achieve it. But I want to add some nice custom labels also here. And also I want to compare with previous month. For example, I have two months here. I want to show how much December is more than November and how much November is more or less than the October, even though it is not there. For that, I need to create the custom label. Let me create a new measure and name it as custom label. Since I want to compare current month with previous month, I require previous month. So variable em sales equal Calculate total sales, comma, date add. I'm supplying the dates from the date table, date state, minus one, comma, month is the interval. Now I need to get that comparison as a percentage. Variable month on month. Divide total sales minus PM sales, which need to be divided by PM sales. This gives me the percentage of the growth or decline. To use these uh, variables, I need to use the syntax uh, return and then I need to start writing the logical function. If month on month is greater than, sorry, less than zero, that means if it is negative, then I want a icon which is showing the decline. So I can just use uh, double quote and then windows and dot. Search for any icon you want. I want this uh, red icon. And then space, double quote. It's simple. Just copy this. And then paste it down. Only this icon I need to change. So this icon, I want to use a up arrow. Only thing is you need to take care of the color. I will change the color of the bar later. I don't want any bracket here because it's in a positive value negative values only i want to keep them in positive i mean brackets otherwise fine and close bracket enter go to data labels scroll down to find an option values scroll down to find an option custom label and make it on add the data label and 
that is from custom label. Now then I'll go to the data labels. I'll change the position to inside base and I'll increase the size of this chart. I hope you like this video. Please don't forget to press the like button, share button also. If you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe. Thank you very much.